Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Come on, put your hands together. Give God some praise in this house. We, he's worthy to be praised. Be ready. Now, what are y'all doing right there? What's going on? He's trying to keep the door open. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. You can put that stopper down, and that'll stop. Just got to stop over now. It doesn't grab it. No. Uh, not this one. Yeah. You all as ushers, if y'all only open that one, that's the one they'll come to. Yeah. We ready? Getting a little bit of a reverb right here on number four. Testing. That's good. Amen. Good morning, everybody. We say good morning to Facebook Live Land, the Right Way Church, 4300 Ramona. Avenue. I like that y'all waving. Amen. Remain me, must have told y'all. <laughs> I like that. Amen. 4300 Ramona Avenue, Dallas, Texas, 75216. Church where God's way is the only way. And where bread of heaven is always being served. Amen. Amen. Anybody wake up this morning with your mind on the Lord. Amen. I know it's on the Cowboys, too, but on the Lord, number one. Amen. Amen. Let's do that one. Woke up this morning with my mind. Stay. Take when he has tested me. Yeah. I will come forth as gold. Yeah. 
My feet have closely followed his steps. I have kept to his way without turning aside. Yes, sir. I have not departed from the commands of his lips. I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my daily bread. rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we know that it was not the alarm clock or the cell phone, but it was because of you. We live, move, and have our very being because of you. And we thank you for this additional day that only you knew was promised to us. Father, we don't take it for granted. We ask you to use us mightily for your glory. We come to praise and worship your name. We give it all to you, Lord. We ask you to bless this church. Be with Pastor Bush, his wife, and son, their sons. Lord, we ask you to have your way here at the Right Way Church. Father, we pray for every member and every family represented. Father, we pray for those who are watching via Facebook. We ask you to bless them and keep them in your care. Lord, we know that you love us and that you care for us. You care about everything that we care about. And so we say hallelujah, and we bless your name, in Jesus' name, amen. Go on and put your hands together for the Lord.
Sunday. I'm so glad to see you. Reverend Pleasant, Prophet Pleasant. I'm so glad to see Evangelist Sylvia Shackleford. Oh, we waking up this side over here today. Y'all better come on, give him some prayer. and praying. We've seen God do some things. Yes, yes, yes. And he's in the house on today. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. There is power yes. in fasting and praying. Do I have some witnesses here? Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. We're not going to hold you long. Amen. I know everybody's excited about the big game, but I thank God that y'all worship first. Amen. 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 Church sign on the outside says, worship and win. Amen. 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 I believe if we worship, they just may win. Amen. Amen. But even if they don't win, we win Amen. in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 But as I was saying, it's so good to see Prophet Pleasant here on today. Amen. He messaged me from the hospital bed on yesterday. And he's in the church house on the front row on today. Did, did y'all hear what I said? Yesterday, laying on his back. Today, walking in the house of the Lord. Amen. And talking. Amen. There's power when fasting and praying. Amen. 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 And I'm just so glad to see all of you here today. We thank God for Lady Natasha stepping in for Brother John and uh, running the audio visual room and today. Amen. Because she needs an audio visual ministry. Amen. We thank God for Mother Bush, founder of the Right Wing Church. Amen. 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 And our founder's birthday is this coming Wednesday. Amen. Amen. January 25th. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we praying for him. Amen. proud of what they did on last week. Yeah. Looks like, Brother Gary, we got momentum. Yeah. We're going to see what's up. Amen. Yeah. And San Fran. Amen. Yeah. Let's cover these announcements. Amen. Amen. I'm going to get the air going here in a little bit. It's tricky. Yet when we came, it was cold outside, and then it starts to warm up. It's all right. I'm not going to freeze yet. That's true, that's true, that's true. Happy January birthdays and anniversary. We near the end of January, amen. But I believe it's one more Sunday in this month, amen. 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 And church-wide, 21 days, Daniel fast, amen. We're nearing the end of it, y'all. And it's been a blessing, amen. We had a blessed time on Wednesday night, amen, as we talked about. Amen. Jesus fasting for 
for 40 days and 40 nights. How he ate, he was able to overcome temptation. See, amen. By the devil, by the tempter. Amen. So Wednesday night, you don't want to miss it this Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Here at the Right Way Church Bible Study. If you can't make it, tune in. Amen. To our Facebook Live. I was pleasantly surprised that on some Wednesdays it's 90 to 100 people that view that. And so we thank God for it. Amen. Isn't that awesome? Thursday, so it's at 7.30. 7.30. Amen. One week it got tossed up and went back to 7, but it's 7.30. Amen. I think that helps all of us. Amen. Amen. Get through that traffic. Amen. And then 2022 tax return if you are a uh, faithful tithe. Email us, amen, and we'll get you that tax return receipt. Amen. amen. Tis the season. Yes, sir. Amen. You know that when God blesses us with our tax return, we want to bless the Lord with our tithe out of that as well. Amen. Amen. He's worthy, y'all. Amen. I want to make sure I didn't forget anybody. Sister Kai, stand up. Amen. So her basketball team played on yesterday and they won 28 to 2. Is that correct? Now check this out. She is the MVP. Because Brother Ramiro out of 28 points total, she scored 18 of them. Amen. So congratulations. Amen. Do that now. You can do it. Amen. Keep it up. Amen. To God be the good. We're proud of all of our youth. Stand up, Brother Jason. Uh, this past week, or the last week, he passed his driving course. So he's a legit driver. And he's been blessed with a car. He has a car. Amen. So congratulations to Brother Jason. He's a faithful member of our audiovisual team. Amen. We thank God for these parents as well, Sister Kamisha and Sister Paul. Amen. Sister Ramona, good to see you in the house. Amen. All of y'all. Amen. May God be the good brother Raymond, brother Raymond Allen, Sister Celia, all of y'all. Sledge is good to see you all back. Amen. Sister Latasha and family. Amen. Bless y'all. Always good to see you. Praise God. Y'all ready to give? Come on, put your hands together and let's get excited about giving. Amen. Thank you to those that have already uh, given by way of cash app. And whichever way God blesses you to do it, do it. Amen. Thank you, Brother Gary. Thank you, Sister Teresa. Amen. God blessing you through this fast, girl. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. You knew it was on the way. Oh, yes, sir. Amen. We're going to talk a little bit about fasting and praying today. Amen. Thank you, Sister Shannon.
also on the uh, tithing envelope. You can just scan that tithing envelope and get cash out. And did you scan? Did you put it on your photo? One of y'all youngsters help me. Prophet. Come on, babies, help him scan that.
Can we go back again? Donnie McClurkin said, what do you do when you've done all you can? Is that all right?
that says, through the storm. Anybody ever been through a storm in your life? Through the rain. this blessed Sunday morning. Thanking you for this The Right Way Church, this ministry, your church, Lord. We thank you for our founder, Mother Bush. Lord, we thank you for all of your people, all of these ministers that are here. Father, we want to hear from you on today. We need your word like never before. Amen. Prepare the hearts and minds of these, your people. Be with me, your humble servant. Give me what I need to give you all the glory, honor, and praise. Hide me behind the cross. Cover me with your blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Familiar passage found in the 17th chapter of Matthew. Matthew chapter 17. Amen. Thank you again, Brother Natasha, for having it on the screen. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 17, the New American Standard Translation will look at, for the sake of time, verses 19 through 21. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 17, verses 19 through 21. Y'all looking at it? Amen. Amen. The New American Standard says these words, Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, why could we not drive it out? Talking about the demons. Verse 20, and Jesus said to them, because of the littleness of your faith. But truly I say to you, if you have faith, the size 
of a mustard seed. You will say to this mountain, move from here to there. And it will move. And nothing, somebody shout nothing, will be impossible to you. Verse 21 closes as we close this fast at midnight tonight. It says, but this time does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Amen. Amen. And that's what I want to talk about today, simply prayer, praying and fasting. Amen. Fasting and praying. Amen. Fasting and praying. Are well, y'all going to pray with me? Amen. Let me soften y'all up a little bit. Yeah, y'all really are. <laughs> story this week and it talks about a young man that didn't have a great relationship with his stepfather. Now the young man was a middle aged man at this time and stepdaddy had gotten old and died. He died in Jerusalem. But the young man lived a middle aged man that was his stepson live in America. Uh -huh. and so when he hears of the dying of his stepdad that he never had that great of a relationship with, felt like he was hard on him, never loved him. You know how that can be. The funeral home called the son and said, listen, we can funeralize your daddy, stepdaddy here in Jerusalem for a thousand dollars. He said, but if you want it brought to America, that funeral will cost you ten thousand dollars. He said, I need to know, do you want to bury your stepdaddy in Jerusalem or in America? Now all of us, we know what we select. A thousand versus ten thousand. The young man, the middle-aged son says, I want him in America. He said, yes, sir, I want him in America because the last fellow that was buried in Jerusalem got up pregnant day, three days later. You'll get that on your way home. He said, I want to make certain. That he's gone here in America. Do y'all hear me today? You like that, Justin? I'm going to get right to it. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. That the disciples bring, they come to Jesus after attempting to command the devil out of a man's son. Mm -hmm. Do y'all hear me today? You can find that in verses 14 through 18. They had no success. Do I have any witnesses here? Right. Can I help drop something in real quick? We will always be unsuccessful without the law.
say we got to be sure to get Christ first and foremost. When God does it, it doesn't have to be done over again. I, I just said something the Holy Spirit gave me that right there. Do I have any witness? 
you to see. It might not be your foot, it might be your, your neck or your knee. Or, yeah, yeah. But I noticed while fasting that click and pop in my ankle went away. That's God saying, I like what you're doing. And if you got good sense, you'll keep doing what you're doing. And I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Do I have a witness here? Because sometimes God don't bless us with what we want because we not we can't handle it at this time. We're spiritually not where we need to be to be a good steward over those blessings. I remember late Dr. Rice said that's why some folks that's when Cadillacs was real big, you know, longer than Escalades and SU and uh, Suburbans and all of that. He said, that's why God won't bless some with a Cadillac. If they do, they'll run everybody over in the road. <laughs> They're not ready. Not ready. But praying, let me get praying, prepares us so that we are ready to rightfully handle what God gives us. That's what praying does. That's what we pray for our children, Lord, give him good sense. Let him stay out of trouble, her stay out of trouble. Keep folk from around them that don't mean them no good. Have I got a witness here? We're praying that God will lead them and their minds in the right direction. I pledged Cap Alpha Psi in college. I did plenty of frat parties and all that, but all that shooting and stuff, I got out the way. I saw it coming and I went going. Now, I wasn't no wimp, but I wasn't trying to die for the cause. <laughs> I'm like, uh, 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 what's the little fella, uh, comedian with the hair, uh, yeah, Cat Williams, you tell me, I got, I got stuff to do. <laughs> yeah. That's true, somebody got to live to tell you. Amen. Now, let me keep on through this text. Jesus rebuked the demon. Bible says in verse 18, the demon came out of him and the boy was cured at once. But no three-step process. It wasn't therapy for this and that. They bumped into me. Low speed, y'all, was at the light, I mean at the stop sign. And the guy couldn't have been going more than five miles per hour. And all of a sudden, bam, but when you're not expecting it. That's when it throws you off. So I go, I'm trying to, you know, do what we do, you know. Call my attorney, my friend brother's an attorney. Got it going, said, well, you need to go to this uh, chiropractor and connect, you know, all of this kind of stuff. Them people put me through x-rays and this and that and turn this way and all of that kind of stuff. Anyway, I got, I'm a salesman. I got to be, you know, I got to go, you know. Then they tell me, we want you for three months. I said, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Three months, three days a week, I call them back and say, hey, what can we do with what we got? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? The difference is God doesn't have to do that. Yeah. He can speak a thing. Yeah. And it comes to me. He can breathe on it, y'all. And it's healed. Have I got a way? He can just look or lead in our direction. And our entire life will change for the better. Have I got a witness here? Ain't that ain't for mama? Hallelujah. Mama gets a physical uh, therapist come at least once a week. And the therapist, Mama told you know, she always testifying and witnessing to them. And she said, I almost died. He said, I know. I've looked at your thigh. He said, but thank God you didn't. Thank God. And she's doing better now. She's walking good. And she's eating good. Amen. Mama said, I'm going to gain weight. I said, Mama, you ain't never been good.
You're going to have to possibly discipline us. We good if you do it, but don't do it in front of folks. Yeah. You know, don't, 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 don't put me out there like that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You know, yeah, yeah, I got a reputation. You know how we are. We got a reputation up on yeah. Don't nobody talk to me like that. Come on. Somebody needs to talk. Yes, sir. Amen. But check this out. And so they come to Jesus privately, and they said, why could we not drive it out? I'm finna come down to me out of here. Am I the best? No. <laughs> if I told you the truth. <laughs> I'm just trying to wake some of y'all up. Yeah, y'all know I saw them aerials perk up now. a little bit here now. Are, are y'all hearing me? Because he didn't say y'all don't have faith. He said it's the littleness of your faith. Did you get that mama? In other words, some folk got faith, but it ain't no power in the little faith we got. It won't last. So when problems come, we crack, crumble, and fall because of our littleness of faith. In this faith factor, amen. amen. He says, if you if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, that's why I said littleness is not only focusing on size. Remain, it's do you have enough stored up that when life drops down on you, life gets a swinging on you, your health begin to fail, your finances fall. Have I got a witness here? Your loved ones ain't there for you. Your job run out and play out. How I got a witness? Do you have enough stored up faith in you to carry you through those growing pains? As Christians, the pains we experience, we ain't experiencing it for nothing. We experiencing it to become stronger in the Lord. Have I got a witness here? Blessed, what you've been through made you stronger. Made you a better preacher. Made you a better prophet. Made you better soon to be whenever God says her. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Have I got a witness here? Uh -huh. Oh, y'all ought to pray with me. So then he shifts and says, because your littleness of faith, for I truly I say to you, if you just had faith the size of a mustard,
coming to it right here. Watch this. So he said, you plant the mustard. If you got faith the size of that mustard seed, you can say to the mountain. Move. Delivered yes. into the hands of me. 
church to help me close this message today. There was a little boy that had gone to the shopping store with his mother one day. And when they went in, they didn't make a store something like a Walmart, a super where they have groceries on one side, Jason, and everything else you need on the other side. The mother went on, got her basket, and began to get her shopping list checked out. She checked it once, and she checked it twice. In the meantime, the boy, Section uh, and they didn't the play with the toy. Uh, they are who I'm saying. Uh, and about the time uh, that his mother was finished shopping, uh, she couldn't find that little boy nowhere. Uh, but do y'all pray with me? Uh, she went old school, went to the front desk uh, and asked him to announce his name. Uh, the boy never showed.
fasting and praying. It blesses us to eliminate that which is visible so that we can experience that which is invisible. Hadn't God done some stuff in your life that folk don't even know about? There was some stuff you was about to do, but God said, don't do that. And because you didn't do it, he opened up doors that possibly would never have been opened in your life. The doors of the house of the Lord open today. I believe there are some here today that want to come and unite with this the right way church. Why don't you come? This is your opportunity today. Why don't you come? Amen. Come on, give God a hand of praise for his precious and holy word. I think we needed that as we near the end of this blessed fast. Amen. Praise God. Your grace and mercy.